I'm Warren, uh, Minister at Greenford Baptist Church. And welcome to the first in a series called Sword Stance. Bit of a mouthful, I know, but bear with us. Um, this is going to be sort of the running theme, is that the word of the Lord, as it tells us in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our inner thoughts and desires. So the word of the Lord, both his word that sometimes he expresses out from what we consider his mouth, but also the word of the Lord, is his word and it is like a sword it can be sharper than any sword it can cut between the rubbish that's in our lives if i'm honest and it can also cut and purify stuff that needs to happen through us but it only happens if we hold the sword if we soak up the sword if we learn how to use the sword, we take a sword stance. Now, looking up lots of sword imagery and different angles, there's lots of different names for certain things and what you can do with a sword, with attacking slices to parrying and defending yourself. So the word of the Lord can be used for really two fundamental things. It can be used to attack to attack the enemy, the enemy clearly being those who are in the dark spiritual realms, as it shows us in Ephesians 6. It can be used to use the word of the Lord to attack back at them, to say, no, you're wrong. This is what the word of the Lord says. Like our Lord Jesus Christ did when Satan tr tried to tempt him. And actually, if you notice, Satan tried to use the word of the Lord to trick Jesus but because our Lord Jesus knew his word so well the word of his father he used that to counteract and attack back at Satan so it can be used for attack in that same moment Jesus also used it for defense to get rid of and parry away the wrong view that Satan was trying to show him about how he should lead his life. And we can do the same. We can use the word of the Lord to defend ourselves as such, to bat away uh, the worldly lies that are thrown at us, to bat away the satanic lies that are thrown at us as well. Sometimes the sword can be used to parry it back and just be a defensive act. So in the series of sword stance, what we're going to be doing is using the word of the Lord. And uh, in these teachings, on a, 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 as regular as one can, uh, in these teachings, we'll be using the word of the Lord to be able to hold our ground, to be able to advance the kingdom of God. But none of these things can happen unless we know how to use the sword. We don't understand the sword if we do not practice the sword one of my favorite movies highlander from the 80s there's a great scene from me or the number of scenes at the beginning that you'll see uh, with the actor sean connery um, teaching uh, highlander uh, christopher played by christopher lambert how to use his sword they did more practicing in how to use the sword he also spends some time, Christopher Lambert, where he is trying to reflect on the history of his, the teaching that he's had. Whereas well, he sits there just sharpening the sword, just sitting there, sharpening the sword. Those imageries I enjoy. Why? Because the sharpening of the sword is me sitting there reading the word of the Lord, like you reading the word of the Lord trying to understand the curves and the and the blade and how sharp it's feeling it's trying to understand soak meditate think on 
And how do we then know how to use the sword, how to use the word of the Lord? Well, it takes practice. It takes more practice than actually being in the actual battle. So if we don't spend daily practicing our sword stances, then, then we can never use it effectively. So in these times, in this, this overarching banner that we're going to call sword stance, we're going to be spending time understanding the word. We're going to be using time applying it to our lives so that we know how more effectively to use this word like a sword. So that our sword arm doesn't come so exhausted so quickly because we've learnt to use our sword memory muscles, i.e. our spirit, as we use the word of the Lord in a more effective way on a daily basis. So I look forward to uh, doing these videos with you. I look forward to maybe sometimes giving a few challenges every now and again and asking a few questions and hopefully interactively you will come back uh, and put some comments about what you think I've just said. And then maybe together we can train together in using the sword, the word of the Lord. God bless to you.